So mid-century novels are a mess because the authors are a mess. Their worlds had literally been blown up and the world had been blown up in a way that it had never been before. They are um, scarred from war. They're scarred from the, um, the, the effect on the home front that caused broken families where they were raised without one parent or another. They were under stress. Um, the children might have been oblivious, but that sense of scarcity, that scarcity mentality, the uncertainty that they lived with on a daily basis, as well as the reconstruction effort after World War II, made life and living in the United States completely uncertain. And so when you look at these novels, you're going to see they were written by brilliant men who were thinkers and trying to put together and make sense of everything that had just happened. And um, so when you watch the biographies and you um, hear about the idiosyncrasies of Ray, ba Ray Bradbury and Kurt Vonnegut, I hope what you pick up on is the fact that more than any century beforehand, um, 20th century novels, short stories, and works were crazy. Um, there might have been a little bit of mental instability that flavored their writing, but I think more than that was the um, emotional and social instability that came with being raised during that era. And so my challenge to you for short assignment 5.2 is that if you um, and you are going to be an author during this time, what events are you going to react to and embed in your story? How would you respond to the various tragedies and triumphs of our time period? And so that has to do with immigration. It has to do with um, a, a world that is basically bipartisan and divided in two. Um, it has to do with the post-Christian mentality in the post-Christian era. It um, involves gender confusion, gender identity. How do you take all of those pieces of a life and you fuse them together into some sort of story? And it doesn't have to be a, a story that has a perfect ending or a moral tale. It's simply a reflection of the realities that you live every day. What is that going to look like? And um, that's what it meant to be an author in the 1920s in the United States, which is such a unique flavor. If you compare that to what we learned about a couple of weeks ago with the, um, the guys who went to Paris, and you look at what they experienced, they had sort of that same trauma of loss of identity. They were really the lost generation, but they had the benefit of ease and luxury and um, not having like a material, uh, what do you want to call it, craving that some of these other mid-century authors saw all around them with the television and the advent of materialism just running rampant in the um, boomer era. So um, go ahead and process what that would have been like and then decide for yourself how are you going to respond and put the pieces of our world together in a creative way?